Larry Skin Sonic Sessions. Here we are in a new setting, the studio, and we're here with multi talented Pierce Halpin, who's going to entertain us on today's show. Welcome to the show and check it out. Halpin, who started it all, well, started all is one way of looking at it, but 2012 was an important year for you. What changed for you in 2012? Well, Larry, uh, 2012 was, I was I moved to Kells. Right. And for me, being a dub, you can tell by the accent, I, I'm from Lock and from Santry originally, a north side man. Uh, I got married to my lovely wife Steph and we decided that we wanted to live somewhere reasonable that was near enough to the city so we decided on Kells. Little did I know when I got to Kells that it's actually, it's a great area for musicians, it's a great area for artists generally. A little uh, bit of a gold mine. Absolutely and I didn't realise, it was like, I didn't realise there was a main motorway down to the place until right. we went to see the house and oh by the way this place is going to be really accessible now like I should have known. But yeah. the, by the same kind of thing, I uh, I didn't realise that when I got there, within, was it like two or three months, maybe three months of moving into the house in Kells, I just was in the local boozer and uh, I just asked your man, do you do gigs, Can, do you mind for bringing a guitar down, so uh, yeah, talk to your man over there. Next thing, uh, hooked up with some local musicians, uh, I was always writing music, but then it was for, actually for your whole life. Yeah, well I've been singers, kind of writing my own stuff, but I've been playing in bands. Yeah. I never really had a, a proper outlet to play the original stuff, do you know, but it was, it was a bass like player covered. for trade. Yeah, yeah, and playing in other original, like uh, Gramophone was the original band I was in, but it was original music, but it wasn't my music, do you know right. what I mean? So, so you needed a platform to express yourself. Exactly, and correct. And came along. Yeah, and, Ke and Kells, moving to Kells is the, the spark that got it going then, because like you got to meet one guy who was a drummer, and he knew another guy who was a bass player, because it was a small town kind of thing, everyone knew each other so you kind of use that to your benefit and I ended up with like a ready-made band off the shelf within the first week that I started kind of looking for musicians right and then said they one of the lads Greg said uh, do you realize that there's a recording studio up the road and it's like I'm making this up but I'm not it was like it was like it was for musicians. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I said no way he says yeah let's go up and have a chat with him so went up to Martin Quinn up in Jam Studios and like he's doing really well you know he's got the Celtic tenors in he's got guys flying over from from abroad to record with him and stuff and uh, yeah so I've haven't looked back since and I've recorded everything with him so you have an trip. album you have an album at the moment yeah yeah the trick to living it's called um, we got a deal last October in Germany and uh, the Germans love you've been well received think. yeah thank god yeah, yeah we've got a good fan base over there and they basically uh, kind of stepped up to the mark and signed up got a three album deal with AGR. Yeah, so you're are you in the process of working on your second album because you're an extremely busy man as I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because something else is happening. That's right. You, you mentioned you were from the north side and that mm. has some relevance to what, what you've stepped into now as well and yeah. another branch of artistic creativity. What is it? You're very well put Larry, yeah exactly. It is, it's another branch and it's kind of going to run parallel I think with this, with the music is just by chance Again, Facebook, you know, blessing or a course, whatever way you use it, you know what I mean? I, it's actually a blessing, I think, because from a promotional point of view, but from a friendship point of view, I hooked up with someone I hadn't spoken to in 20 years, just whatever, just by accident on Facebook. Yeah. And she was an actress, uh, Justine O'Rourke, good friend of mine now, back again after 20 years. And I just said to her in passing, if, if there was ever anything going on to give us a show, I'd love to give it a spin. Because I've done a few little things yeah. myself at home, you know, I feel like, I suppose, compared to the bigger thing, they were technically homemade movies and you right. know, I've acted in my own music videos and stuff, always had a bit of a hankering towards doing it, you know. And it was literally by chance, I just said, you know, if, if there's ever anything coming up, give us a shout. She said, funny you should mention that. Uh, this Saturday, from the week I was sp speaking to her after 20 years, it sounds like I'm making it up, and uh, she said, come on in, there's an open audition in, 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 in the city centre. Went in, um, I'd been talking to the director beforehand, he said, come in, it's an open audition, you know? So, uh, not really used to the whole process. Uh, seen it on TV, you know? They gave me a script, says, read that. And uh, I basically stood there, the director read the other part, and I was like, I don't know, a minute doing my part. Nervous as hell, you know, yeah. as you can imagine. And 
the writer, Paul Murphy, was there and he goes, yeah, well, how tall are you? I was going, I, I thought it was ready for nearly every, you know, every question gone wrong me. How tall are you? I was going, well, you're measuring me for a suit or something. He says, no, no, it's just the character of such and such. So I didn't put too much into it because he said, thanks very much. Don't call us, we'll call you. Yeah. And it was within the next week, they said, come back to a callback thing. So I got the part, um, it's, a play, it's, a, it's a new show called The Northsiders, right. which as you say, has great relevance because you know, you're so not here to try yeah, to do. yeah, and we're, it, we we've just filmed the pilot episode, and uh, Paul Murphy's the writer, Robert Dire Robert O'Mara is the director. They've been touching around on the scene on the kind of on the on the peripheral for a while, but this is the one. We've got Carl Shields from Fair City fame, and he was in Batman with Christian Bale, and he's in Penny Dreadful, like a good name, well known in the yeah. industry. He's the lead man, and I play his brother, and oh no, his brother actually. I know his brother, I'm trying to remember what the character is, I'm, I'm John or is the guy. You're on the same. And, uh, yeah, so I got a big part and I couldn't believe it. And we finished shooting last week. So I'm on set with all these actors going, So the last acting. two years, the last two years, it's just turned everything on its ass a bit. Yeah, in, yeah. In a, in a pleasant way. In a great way. And it's something that I always wanted to do, but because you got to promote yourself with music through media and stuff, yeah. you're going to be doing the same process with this, this, um, this new show. And it's just timing-wise perfect. Because so where uh, where is your album available to get back to the music side? Because you're going to perform something for us today. Yeah, well. yeah, absolutely. Um, it's available on all major download so download sites: iTunes, CD Baby, Amazon, um, and the CDs are available at the gigs. Uh, we've a new band on the road now. We started uh, we started playing two weeks ago within the last fortnight. So there'll be dates going to be announced on the website and Facebook coming soon. But we're we're getting going now. And it's uh, yeah, it's looking good going into the new year. And what are you going to perform for us today? I'm going to perform a song off the album. Uh, it's called "Grass the Star," and it's kind of it's one of the more acoustic-y based sort of. Uh, it's a green light song. It's you know I kind of I get sick of people singing about depressing stuff or everything is an e, e minor, you know. And yeah. uh, I think Shoe I consciously yeah, yeah, I think I consciously try. Well, I consciously can't but write happy enough stuff. Right. And, uh, I'm so, not surprised. Well, you know what I mean. And but never, like I, I never really wrote kind of slow, modern sort of. You're into the stuff. celebration of music rather than the, yeah, yeah, the morose side. Absolutely. Things, yeah. I, I think it's something that if you're any de anyway decent at that, you, you know, you should you should celebrate it, and you know, it comes through in the music. I think so. Yes, that's what that's what it's all about. Great. Thanks very much, Pierce. No problem. There, you might Good luck with the future. Thanks very much. It and seems very bright. Can I just say hello to Mike Bro as well? Yeah, uh, the overall music management because Mike is. Uh, taking me under his wing now and it's it's going to be a great relationship I think moving forward into the new year so great nice one, Mike. Yeah. thanks for Mr. Pierce Halpin for coming on Larry Skin's Sonic Sessions and he's going to play, perform a tune for us any minute now
Thanks for clicking on to Larry Skin Sonic Sessions. You can view this show for future reference on the Digital Feed TV, the Ballypharma TV, and the Kildare Hope TV. Thank you.